Virgo, happy birthday. Damn it. I know it's been a tough birthday. There's a lot of change going on, but you're going to be so happy when you're done with this transformation. Just suck it up, hold in the breath and go through the transformation. You're going through an ego change. So you were called to get your ego in check with yourself on last Monday. <clears throat> so in other words, your ego better treat you as if it loves you. Your ego better not throw you under the bus, better not uh, uh, punish you, better not make it harder, make you do the hard way, better not give up because you're just flustered and you run away, which Virgos do. They'll just ghost you and go away because they're overwhelmed with the data sometimes. You not you got to be really nice to yourself. You got to love yourself. And it's got to be something I can see that's tangible that I can read, right? So love yourself and be tangible about loving yourself. If you love yourself, Virgo, then all of your behavior with other people will be loving and people will treat you in a loving way. Most Virgos, I mean, that will tell me how they've been treated so poorly. Like, that person just did not respect me, did not treat me. I cannot believe how disrespected I was. And I, I always have to get in the fight with the Virgo. I'm like, it's because you are putting yourself down before you even went out there. And so you attracted someone who did the same thing you did to yourself. So that is hyper aware right now. If you're having anyone treating you poorly right now, Virgo, it's because you're not treating yourself well on the inside. The law of attraction energy is super powerful. Now, the square to Jupiter has to do with your career and legacy. And so the problem here is you may be running on some sort of a career idea. You might've gotten the bug of some great idea come around June when Jupiter went into Gemini and you're just like crazy and ready to finance it and just rocking and rolling. And as the sun squares uh, on Thursday, you may realize, you know, this is a good idea, but I don't really want to do it. I don't want to do the work. I don't want to mow a lawn. I don't want to do this. You didn't really, pro your mind didn't ask your heart, does it love doing it? A lot of people sign up for stuff that's like a good idea. Like, oh my God, I want to be a plastic surgeon. Well, wait till your fingers are in someone's guts or whatever. And then ask yourself, is this fun, right? Like sometimes you have to do it to know if you love it. So I think Virgos will have some wake up calls and that they'll realize they've been putting some, putting things out there for them to do that they don't really want to do when they actually look at what the work is involved or the details. The other opposition that happens is Saturn, of course, in, uh, in Pisces at 16 degrees, which means your ego has to want to be in the relationship and in the relationship, you cannot lose yourself. So that back and forth is sort of a, um, what's the word, a security check to make sure that your ego is not running away from your relationships. It's also doing its responsibility there and that your relationships aren't taking away from what your ego wants to do. So it's like, oh, because my partner doesn't want this to happen, I guess I'm going to pass on it now and just give it up. Uh-uh. Your relationships and your ego have to be on the same page. <clears throat> and then Venus was about self-worth last week, calling for Virgos to really open up and take a good look at how much they love themselves and how much they value themselves, right? So if you got sick and you didn't get up and take yourself to the doctor, you didn't value yourself. If you if you um, you know were worried about something or if you were stewing on something, you didn't do anything about it to clear it up. You didn't care about yourself. You didn't value yourself. It doesn't matter. These are old habits if you found them and they don't have to continue. So accept the fact that you were wrong. Accept the fact that you were hard on yourself, that you eliminated your own self-worth in those moments. And if you do, Venus moving on to the next degrees is going to put you in a position to really start collecting abundance and money. If next week you're this week, you're having problem with sales, problem with money, you're worried about things coming into fruition, then we know you did not value yourself at the beginning of the week. As you can see, this whole week is I realize, right? We're all realizing these big things. It's serious joy, joy, joy.